So let's say you want to do a past life and you need to find a hypnotherapist, a past life regressionist. How do you shop for one? What should you be looking for? There's some really specific things you want to look for. And to give you an idea of why it's important to be particular, I'll tell you a couple stories of what happens when you're not particular. So my father went to a past life regressionist, and actually I went to her as well, years ago. And she was an amazing hypnotist. Uh, I was a skeptic. My dad, you know, took me, and um, I was like, yeah, I don't think I can be hypnotized. And, you know, I had all kinds of beliefs about who could be hypnotized, and I didn't think I was one of the people that could. And so she had to go through this really elaborate process of proving to me that I was hypnotized. And it was really funny because she did this thing where she said, you know, with your eyes closed, okay, I'm going to put this, you know, this balm on your, on your hand. It's the kind of balm that heats up. And so I'm going to put it on, and then I want you to tell me when it's heated up. And she did that, and of course I was like, okay, yeah, it got hot. And then she did something else, and she did all these things. And then afterwards she said, okay, open your eyes. She said, look, there's no balm. There's this thing, other thing I told you that was on your hand. It's not there. You're hypnotized. I convinced you that these things were real, and you believed them. You actually felt them even though they weren't here. So I just, I'm just demonstrating to you that you are currently hypnotized. <laughs> so that was kind of mind-blowing, but I was like, wow, she's really good. I guess, I guess I am hypnotized because I could have swore that those things had happened. So then we proceeded to the past life, and it was this, you know, phenomenal um, past life regression. I went to two past lives, very traumatic deaths and um, went through this incredible physiological um, you know, experience where I was sweating, I was shivering, I was you know, exhausted. And when I got out of there, I actually was so pale and, and um, you know, death-like looking that my father was concerned. What happened to you? Why do you look like that? <laughs> and in the past life, I had gone through a birth. I had given birth, and I had also died during birth. And so the therapist said, well, she just gave birth twice, so that's why she looks like she just gave birth. <laughs> and so, wow, this was an amazing, right, journey into a past life, into two past lives. And I really couldn't rationalize it away because how did I go through all of those phys physical changes? And I also went through a lot of emotional changes. I was actually crying in the session, which was bewildering to me. And um, my father had a similar experience where he went to a past life and it was really dramatic and it was really um, detailed and it was really fascinating. But in both of our cases, at the end of the session, she brought us out and that was it. We went to the past life, we went through some dramatic life and death experience, and then boom, we were back in this world and we had to like get up, leave the office and continue with our day. And we both felt just profoundly affected you know, emotionally, and in my case, physically, by the experience, but we didn't really know how to process it. That's not the kind of hypnotherapist you want. You want somebody who's not just a hypnotist, who's not just talented at actually taking you to a subconscious level where you can recall, but you want somebody who can also help you process what you saw, okay? And so they should be a hypnotherapist, and the therapist part of their, of their name should should be really an accurate description of what they do. So I later went to a hypnotherapist who would take me to the past lives, and they would be, you know, compelling and dramatic. But then after the past life was over, she would ask me a series of questions like, okay, tell me how what you just saw relates to this life. And maybe I wouldn't be able to initially. So then she would say, well, um, I want you to take yourself to a scene in your current life that looks like a scene from this life, you know, and she would like ask a series of questions to get me to make the connections between the past life and this life. She would also ask me, what did you learn from that life, right? So you just went through this traumatic death. Why? Why are you being shown that? So she would ask you, why are you being shown this traumatic death, right? Why would we just want to go through something traumatic? There's got to be a purpose, right? And you, and you get all of these incredible nuggets of information which are valuable to you in this life. You can take the information you learned from the past life and apply it to this life. That's a true hypnotherapist, someone who's going to allow you to use what you learned from your past life to help you in this life. And that's what you want to look for in a hypnotherapist.